know, there should usually be a multidisciplinary approach to a cancer diagnosis. Right. You know, most problems with uh, cancer diagnoses involve one, if not all three of our treatment modalities, which would be surgery, surgery which a urologist could perform, um, radiation, which a, radiation, which a radiation oncologist can perform, and then some form of systemic therapy, which a medical oncologist could provide. That could be uh, a form of what you alluded to earlier, talking about a hormone shot that would block testosterone. We call that androgen deprivation therapy. So prostate cancer is fed by, by testosterone, and so blocking that hormone is trying to prevent, you know, further spread and growth of the prostate cancer. Also, medical oncologists, of course, most people understand, provide systemic chemotherapy or sometimes immunotherapy to cancers if the cancer has spread beyond the primary site of origin. And uh, unfortunately, m many prostate cancer diagnoses are made with the, di with the individual being diagnosed at stage four, where the disease has already spread to possibly the bone, the liver, or the lungs. So uh, I think a lot of this talk is to try to prevent those sort yes. of complications from happening. Yeah. And so you, I, uh, you talked about your PSA score you know, being very high, didn't come down with antibiotics. Um, you know, going for biopsy seems like a very practical thing to do, again, with a PSA greater than 20. Um, and then, so when that biopsy occurred, you, I just, again, just going to fill in, try to fill in some of those details. You mentioned about the 12 cores that were obtained. Okay. So if you mm -hmm. think of, uh, think of it, like I said, as an acorn or maybe like a, a bean or seed laying on its side, you know, they're going to probably, you know, if you slice that in half and then you take the left half is having six cores and the right half having the other six cores. And if you had more than 50% of that gland involved with prostate cancer, you know, um, they will take different uh, samples of all of those areas. In, in your case, you said seven or eight out of those 12 core uh, samples had prostate cancer. And they, I think you mentioned that they scored those as well, right? Do you remember the phrase Gleason score? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, some of them were like a, a three, four, mm -hmm. uh, three, three, mm -hmm. uh, four, three. It was, it was mm -hmm. like th those numbers. Okay. Yeah. And anything that was a four, four, or four, five, or anything like I, that. I, I, I did have one area that was a four, four. I do okay. remember having one area that was a four, four. Yeah. So, so what does that mean? Is that you know when when a cancer diagnosis is made, they take that cancerous tissue sample and they uh, look at the 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 they look at that pathology sample and they grade it next to a normal prostate gland and the closer and uh, more similar to normal prostate gland the lower the number you know so a score of a two or three might look a lot like a normal prostate gland the higher the number the more advanced that cancer is in that particular area and the score yeah. gets higher you know so they mm -hmm. typically uh, you know about a four or a five is about as advanced as the number would get and then you get a composite score 